cannot be looking at other people, what they're doing or whatever. It has nothing to do with your own thriving. Unless you're looking at them and they're like, that's dope and you want to do it. But if it's not dope, don't pay it any attention. It has nothing to do with you because you will not find out God's will or your next step until you follow what's dope and the soundtrack of your life instead of listening to them. Whatever you're doing, if you make it dope, it becomes God's will. And it will look like what you're doing happens to be God's will. But in reality, you found the part of your life where God's will resides, the part of your experience that's dope, and you stayed in that dopeness of it until the circumstance changed. When God makes a soundtrack for your life, He's making everything you do dope. When you're suffering and God is playing the cello so you can cry yourself a river and you're on your knees, you're sobbing, you're looking at God and God looking back at you. He's like, okay, I got your swan song. What's next? God is like, you want me to, you want me to change the music? You want to, you want to go down the rabbit hole? Make me bust out a didgeridoo so you can invert yourself back to your cosmic origins? Where's the song taking us? Where's the story going? How are we going to move this plot forward? And anytime you're experiencing suffering, it's time to listen to the soundtrack of your life. Because that music is telling you something. It's telling you what you're doing on a soul level, it's moving you to the next page of your life. Music is the sound of movement. It is the sound of energy moving. And when you don't feel like your life is moving, God is in the background putting music to your life, moving your life forward with that music. He's pushing it forward. And whatever you're experiencing right now, if you just listen to the soundtrack of it, that is God's will. God's will is your will plus music. And go ahead and write that in your journal. Whatever you're doing, you're crying, you're sobbing, you're angry, you're pissed off, you're shooting someone, there's music. God is playing a soundtrack to it to give it some meaning and pushing it forward to its next iteration. And when it's done, the music will change. The music of your life will change when you're done with that struggle and that strife. God will change the music to your life. The moment you hear that music change, you know your next step.